Now, let's welcome another special guest to give us some additional perspective on the circuit, the Vice Chairman of Hendrick Motorsports and NASCAR Hall of Famer, Jeff Gordon. Well, thank you. Well, you know, ever since I retired in 2015 from full-time racing in NASCAR, what I find myself enjoying more than anything is getting out onto some of these club tracks around the country. So when I first heard uh, about this project with uh, Marcus and Mr. Hendrick, uh, I said, I want to be involved. Uh, you know, please, any way I can be involved because I'm gonna, I know I'm going to get a lot of enjoyment out of being uh, on this course and driving different cars. But um, obviously, if I'm going to be involved, I want to make sure that I can give a, a, a little bit of my own um, you know, input in, into what this course could be like. And, and they already were on their way with, with, with Alex and his design. And so I remember coming out here and, and when it was just dirt and just seeing how this track was going to flow and the elevation changes, about 112 feet of, of elevation changes. I didn't know I was going to have a Gordon drop over there. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And I mean, there's no other course in the country, uh, club track especially, that has a bank corner like what, what you have here. But what I loved so much when it was finally paved and, and I got to run some laps uh, it, you know, at speed um, was just the, the, the different challenges. There's, there's what, everything that you want in a, in a course. You want the high speed sections. You want the sections that flow where you really load the car left and right. Um, you've got some blind crests that are going to challenge you to make sure you get the car positioned right. There's some heavy braking sections. There's areas that are very technical and areas that are just very flowy and fast. And, and then you, on top of that, take into account that you can uh, go in the reverse direction and have a whole new course all to yourself and break it uh, up into different sections. So um, my goal for this course is that I'm the one that has the most laps around here. And I, I want to hold that record. I want to hold some records of some speed, too. But uh, I plan on making a lot of laps around this track. And I'm already uh, have had a blast running laps. Can't wait to get out there and give some rides today. So as we were building this, I would get a call from the boss. Hey, Jeff wants to go over to the track. So we would get you know, the construction guys to stop. And, and we, it kind of felt like being a lifeguard at Adult Swim. Like, why am I here? <laughs> So we would block off the two entrances, and the last time he came over here and the track was finished, he'd get out there and, I mean, he had a real serious face, kind of game face on, but then when he finished running laps in, in that Corvette, he got out, and it looked like he swallowed a coat hanger. The smile was so big. He's like, you know, oh, yeah, this is going to be great. Well, so, I just couldn't believe that we were going to have this a mile down the road from where my office is now. <laughs> right. Now, one of the unique features of the circuit that's going to be lit uh, there'll be lights around providing not only a different experience for many drivers, but also expanding the opportunities to use the circuit in conjunction with the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Morning, afternoon, evening, yet another way to increase visitor tourism to the area. Jeff, how does lighting a course in the circuit you know, differ from other things you've experienced? Well, I mean, I remember when the Charlotte Motor Speedway was lit up on the mile and a half and we said, how in the world are we going to race on a mile and a half track at night under the lights? And, and it's just a totally different perspective. Um, the speed feels faster, the grip level of the track changes, uh, the nuances of the track change. So it's just another variable in, in the ability not only to run year long, uh, like I don't know if there's any other course that's gonna have the ability to run as many laps in, in year long in all con different conditions like this track is gonna be capable of. You add the lights to it. I mean, we already have great weather conditions here for most of the year, but now you add the lights to that and it's gonna open up uh, a, a whole nother uh, opportunity of, of feeling the track in a different way and seeing it different. And I think it's going to be pretty spectacular, even if you're a spectator watching the track, uh, the cars around the track. You touched on it just briefly, but coming out of the Gordon drop, right? Because that elevation change, that blind right hander, you come into that carousel. We touched on it briefly, but it, it's an embanked turn, right? And so is there any other course in the United States that has that kind of feature? There's nothing, nothing like it that I, I've been to pretty much all of them, and I've never seen a course that had the banking of that. And what that allows you to do, you just as you're coming down the drop, um, you're carrying a lot of speed, and and you know you want to be hard on the brakes, but you also can allow the car to absorb this banking and pick up the loads. And now now you start to feed the wheel, feel the G's. It just the sensation of speed there is incredible, and then it also allows you to really power down to feel the acceleration off the corner. So. Um, that, that was Marcus's idea. It's a, it's, a, it's a brilliant one. It's a great view, but it's also a lot of fun to drive. Good. 